Hello everyone and thank you for stopping at the stamp station. Today I'm showing you my sentiment binders. I know many people organize their sentiments in an Excel spreadsheet, but that didn't work for me. It didn't show me the font or size, so if I'm looking for a happy birthday sentiment, I still need to pull 30 different stamp cases to see if the sentiment fits my card style, space or die. This is when I had the idea to create a binder. It shows me the sentiment and the size and the font and is organized in a way that I can find it within seconds. I took all of my stamp sets and started to stamp the sentiments onto paper by category. I made the categories up as I stamped along. My sheet of paper has three columns. I stamped the sentiment in the first column I write the name of the stamp set in the second column and the third column is for the location. My stamp sets are organized by the year I purchased them and I also keep all my sentiments and paper pumpkin stamp sets separate from all my other ones. The number in the third column is the year and if there is a letter it tells me if it is in the sentiment or the paper pumpkin section. I stamped my paper pumpkin sentiments in a different color to make them stand out more so I instantly know where they are. If your stamps are organized alphabetically, you will not need the third column. When I filled a page, I placed it in a sheet protector, added it to my binder and made tabs for each category. If a sentiment fits in more than one category, I stamp it in each one. This is how it works for me. If I need a sentiment, for example, a Father's Day, I go to that category in my binder and can choose the stamp that fits this card the best and know where to find it. If I want a sentiment for a certain die, I can lay my die over the sentiment and see if it fits. Yes, the binders took time to make. I probably stamped for a week, many hours, each day. But now it saves me so much time because it only takes moments to find the perfect sentiment and reach for it in my shelf. Before, I had to open 30 different stamp cases and put them away afterwards, which was frustrating and a total waste of time. I also love that I can see what sentiments I have and this way, I use almost every single sentiment stamp I own. If you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you have more sentiments than you realize. If you make yourself a binder, you will be amazed how often you reach for past stamp set. I hope this video was helpful and maybe you want to try this out yourself. It sure made my life easier. Thank you for stopping at the stamp station.